Hey guys, Shane with TNBC out of NRA 2023, booth 4364. Today we're going to be talking about the Discus from Disco 32. It is our product of the year that we announced at V-Shot. The great thing about the Discus, it is a Bluetooth dongle to integrate with your comms. Uh, this will allow you to connect any cell phone with Bluetooth capability. So basically what you will do is you will connect your down lead cable to any comm, whether you have Sordans, Amps, MSA, Peltors, anything that has a U174 down lead cable. Connect that directly into the discus. Make sure you push it into where it seats around that O-ring. For the law enforcement guys out there, you can connect this to a push to talk. So if you are an on-scene commander, need to take phone calls or listen to the radio or anything like that, this will allow you to do that without any interference with your comms. So great product, go check it out, tmvc.com. Hey guys, we've had a lot of comments about the Wilcox G24. Right now there is a little bit of an extended lead time. So we've had a lot of questions about other variants or other, other options that are available on the market. So very similar to the G24, you have your forward and aft adjustment. You have a push button release to stow and deploy. You have your vertical adjustment for your height. And you also have the tilt that you can adjust depending on your, your eyes and your helmet's configuration. So Nerodos came out with the new Nerodos Low Stow USMC push button configuration, very similar to the G24. So this is a dovetail mount, not to be confused with a bayonet horn interface. It still has your forward and aft adjustment by this, uh, this knob right here. You still have your tilt indicator to adjust any sort of tilt that you need for your helmet. You do have the breakaway feature very similar to the G24, and it also has a push button for stow and deploy. All right, check out the Nerodos Low Stow USMC push button configuration. Great option for a dovetail mounted system. Check it out, tmvc.com. All right, next we're gonna talk about the E-Cody and the TAD from Optics One. So the original E-Cody, uh, the enhanced clip-on thermal imager, uh, is a heads-up display that clips on to any night vision goggle. So this is a DoD proprietary, has ATAX, augmented reality, and stuff like that that civilians can't use. So we have worked with Optics One to produce the TAD, the thermal augmentation device. Very similar to the E-Cody, but as you can see, it is a slightly smaller profile. It will integrate with the current uh, brackets for night vision devices. Because it is newer technology, it has an increased sensor along with it. Uh, retail on the E-Cody is about $9,300, but because the, the TAD does not have any of the DoD proprietary systems like ATAX, visual augmented reality, anything like that, uh, we're gonna be releasing these uh, towards the end of this year for about $6,500. So there will be more information and a sign up for pre-orders on our website at tmbc.com. Hey guys, I'm Tom Austin, director at Night Goggles Inc., which is the sister company to Tactical Night Vision Company. I'm here to show you new thermal that we just got in stock. These thermals are awesome. See this little guy right here? That's a laser rangefinder module on a 640 12 micron resolution thermal. So this is made by Bering Optics. It's called the Super Yoder LRF for laser rangefinder. Price is going to be $52.95 and they will be shipping any day now. But with this thermal, we were able to get positive range on a coyote at 1,300 yards on a snowbank recently. So it's super impressive. They also make this in a 384 resolution called a Super Hogster LRF. So we got a Super Yoder LRF, a 640 a Super Hogster LRF, which is the 384 resolution, and they're $37.75 for the cheaper one. So, fantastic four-year warranty on these. They're built in Texas. Good product. Check them out, nightgoggles.com, or email sales at nightgoggles.com. Thanks.